Hey there beautiful people, I hope you are having a creative day. In this video we will talk about the breakpoints in Wix Studio. Breakpoints are an essential tool to create responsive websites. It helps you to check your designs across different device widths and help you create and optimize the design for all devices. So in Wix Studio we have the breakpoint setting on top right here and we have three breakpoints by default. We have the desktop, tablet and mobile but you can add three more breakpoints so in total you can add up to six breakpoints and check what your website looks like across different website widths so to add the breakpoint you have to click on this option right here and type in the pixels that you want to show the website so let's say you are designing the website especially for ipad in that case our breakpoint width will be 1024 pixels and click on done and as you can see we now have a new breakpoint right here now although this shows the desktop option right here it is in fact the breakpoint for the uh, ipad devices so on ipad your website will look like this all right so you can check different device widths and see what your website will look like and optimize your design you can add more breakpoints so let's add a 1920 pixel and let's add another one like this all right so once you have six breakpoints you won't be able to add another one so six breakpoints is the upper limit of any web page now you can check the design across different websites and if you cannot see the entire website in your viewport you can always decrease the zoom value right here all right so this is what your website will look like on uh, for example in my laptop this is the design that i will see so now I can make any kind of changes I want and uh, review them on my own laptop. One important thing to notice here is that this is not the breakpoint for the entire website, just this web page. All right. So if I go to the privacy policy page here, you will see that the breakpoints reset to three. So I can again add multiple breakpoints for this page. All right. So all pages have their own breakpoints value so you can uh, add different breakpoints on different pages furthermore we have different breakpoints for the global section as well what are global section we will talk about that in later videos for now let's uh, reset it to 100 percent and this header right here is a global section so this header will have its own breakpoints so i can go here and add a new breakpoint just for the header All right, so this breakpoint is only for the header, not for the web page. If I select the page here, I will again see just three breakpoints. So the global section, like the header and the footer, has their own uh, breakpoints. The web page have their own breakpoints, and you can change them for each page. Now let's talk about how different elements uh, perform or react to different breakpoints. Let's go back to the home page. Now, whatever you add on your biggest uh, breakpoint will be reflected across all the breakpoints. So if I add, let's say, a section on this breakpoint, the largest breakpoint. It will be added across all the breakpoints. As you can see, we have the image and the text, the entire section on all the breakpoints. However, if I go to a lower breakpoint, let's say this one, and add a certain element, any section or any sort of element, like this, only the lower breakpoint will reflect that design. If you go to the higher breakpoints, that design won't be visible. It's still there but it's hidden, all right? So as you can see, this section is entirely hidden. The same goes for the other higher breakpoints. So if I add a certain element, a section 
in my mobile and let's add a button as well you won't see that in the higher breakpoints but if you add a button on the highest breakpoint right here the largest breakpoint it will be shown across all the breakpoints furthermore the design that you apply on the higher breakpoints will be reflected on the lower breakpoints as well so if i go here and change the font uh, size of this text right here it will be shown across all the uh, breakpoints depending on your uh, responsive behavior you will see the change in the font size across all the breakpoints now you have the option to create a specific font for each breakpoint so i can go here and change the font for this specific uh, breakpoint to let's say 18. all right and if i go to the higher breakpoint i won't see the same value we still have 60 here and 80 here however if i go to a lower breakpoint you will see that changes according to the uh, breakpoint where we have changed the phone so the value you set on the higher breakpoint will be reflected across the uh, lower breakpoints but it won't affect what is inside the higher breakpoint the larger breakpoint all right now if you want to reset the design option as the highest breakpoint like if you want to change the font back according to the highest breakpoint you can go here right click and move the override and it will revert back to the original font size now if you want to delete the breakpoints that's very easy as well you can simply go to the breakpoints and just delete them right here you can also edit the value of the breakpoints from here or from here all right so let's go here and delete some breakpoints like this and just go here and reset the value all right so this is how you can reset add and remove the breakpoints in pixel studio um, try different uh, device weights and see what your website looks like um, optimize them and see what you can do to maximize the uh, accessibility across different devices so yeah that's it for this video i hope you learned something thanks for watching